Okay, well, you know, first of all, I'm extremely excited uh, today to announce Adam Howard as our new assistant coach. Uh, I got to know Adam a couple years ago when we actually flew him up to present uh, matchup zone defense uh, that he really helped orchestrate. Uh, you know, think, think the world of him, thought he was terrific uh, when he presented to our staff. Uh, very well rounded. Uh, you know, some of the things as I've gotten to know Adam uh, over the last couple years. Um, you know, this past year, my only game that I was able to go see my son Jack play down at Texas Arlington was when they played South Alabama. So I was able to reconnect uh, with Adam down there, uh, you know, had great conversation with him and always kind of had in the back of my mind, if I had a staff position open up, uh, that he would be a guy that would be at the top of the list. Um, you know, as far as what Adam can bring to our program, uh, you know, first and foremost, uh, he's really good on the defensive end uh, of the floor and he has a very unique approach uh, to looking at it with different defenses. And I'm really excited to get to know and learn uh, more about those in the coming months as we head into our season uh, next year. Uh, you know, one other area, uh, you know, that I've gotten to know with Adam is he's very well connected around the country. And uh, he, he's in the short time <clears throat> that we've had him on our staff, uh, the different people that he has talked to me about as far as bringing in uh, both potential freshman uh, recruits uh, next season and also players uh, as they continue to go into the transfer portal. So I'm really impressed with Adam's connections and I think he's gonna be able to get some very high level players in front of us, hopefully on campus into our building where we can talk to him about our program. Uh, the other area which we saw this morning, uh, right now as far as what we're doing with our players, it's all about individual fundamental skill development. And uh, basically each coach is taking one guy right now and just working on different fundamental aspects of the game. And I couldn't have been more impressed with what I saw out of Adam uh, this morning, really with his first day uh, with working with our guys. Uh, I know he's gonna build great relationships with our players, which is so important in today's game as far as getting to know your guys, uh, you know, making them feel comfortable and hopefully making them feel confident. Uh, you know, as far as where we ended our season, uh, you know, hopefully with the way we ended, we created some momentum uh, coming into next year, uh, especially with the offensive system and the way we played. I believe it was eight of our last 10 halves. We were over 50% and we were one of the more efficient teams uh, as we ended up the season as far as the offensive end of the ball. Obviously, we have a lot of room to grow on that other end. And that's one of the reasons I'm most excited about Adam uh, bringing him on board is to really help us get a system where we can be more consistent on that end. Well, again, really what we were looking for was well-rounded. And, you know, obviously that was very attractive with some of the different things that I've seen out of Adam uh, when we had him up here a couple of years ago, you know, with what we were able to see as far as that system. It, it's complicated. It's hard for us to put in exactly what it is, uh, you know, just based on all the different nuances of that matchup zone defense. So, you know, to get a guy in here that that's his background, that's what he's done, and that's the system that he has helped implement uh, into a lot of very successful defenses. So, you know, when you saw towards the end of the year when we got a little bit better on that end, we really were trying to change up and trying to keep teams off balance. Uh, so, you know, I really wanted to get a guy in here that had a background in helping continue on uh, with that trend. Uh, you know, as far as the other thing, obviously, being connected and being able to get, you know, the right guys in here to our program that fit with what we want to do. Um, you know, just let me hit on Sam Greasel uh, real quickly. Could not be more excited uh, to have Sam in our program, uh, you know, to get a guy that can come in here and play really all over the floor. Uh, you know, what attracted me is the positional size at the point guard position at 6'6". Uh, we played him a couple years ago, and I just love the kid with, with everything that he was all about. Uh, can go out and, and get triple-double, you know, and I think he'll fit very well within the system. You know, as far as uh, getting guys involved, he's tough. And more than anything, I think he's, uh, you know, a culture guy that can really help us get on the right path. So, you know, really excited about Sam's future uh, with us. And, you know, he, he cares obviously very deeply for this program, being a local kid and, you know, somebody that wants to see success and, you know, hopefully be something, be a part of something, you know, to take this place to where it's never been before. I think that'd be pretty special for, for a local kid like Sam. Well, yeah, obviously we're looking at, uh, you know, one thing I'm excited about for next year is I think we'll have, you know, as good a positional size as we've had since we've taken over with, with Sam 
you know, certainly with Denim, you know, I'll talk about the recruits. I'm very excited that we were able to keep that recruiting class together. Uh, you know, I was able to, as soon as, you know, the season was over, to fly out and see all of those guys individually and sit in front of them and talk about the vision that we had for them as players and what they can accomplish uh, in our program. So, uh, you know, first uh, opportunity was to go out and see Ramel and sit in front of Ramel and his family. You know, I'm thankful that he, uh, he kept his commitment and remained, um, uh, remained on board. Uh, flew down to see Blaze, you know, who obviously is going to be a huge key for us. Again, talk about positional size. Uh, you know, I think there's going to be opportunity to play he and Derek together. You know, it's great to get Derek back as, as a guy that, uh, you know, certainly had a phenomenal season. Um, you know, he had a 21 rebound game at the end of the year. Four of his last five games were double doubles. He averaged a double double. So, you know, to have that size and physicality uh, here was huge for us to keep that on board. Uh, you know, Satya Marcus didn't fly out after the season, but recently saw him when we were out playing on the East Coast, and he's been rock solid ever since. A guy that just won a state championship, a guy that had a phenomenal uh, year that can really shoot the basketball. So, uh, you know, and obviously Denham getting him at semester, that was the four-man class uh, that we were able to keep intact. But when you see not only the size, positional size, but also the versatility of those players, uh, certainly gets me excited about next year. Uh, we are continuing to look at how we can improve our roster. So we are, you know, currently talking to a couple transfers. Um, you know, we went and visited one uh, last week. I obviously can't talk names or specifics on that. Uh, and we will potentially have some visitors uh, coming up here. Uh, you know, I know the decision from Trey and Lat, uh, you know, is coming. Uh, still don't have final answers uh, on those two guys. Obviously, we're keeping in very close contact. Uh, with them, and you know, we'll, we'll see how things develop. We should know a lot more uh, about the direction as far as those two guys in the next couple weeks. Why did you feel that the, the staff changed your days were changed? Well, it's just uh, you know something that again with uh, with Adam, you know, I'm very excited about what he brings, uh, you know, to this program. You know, as, as far as being a well-rounded guy, uh, you know, that can help us all over. He's not just you know going to do one area. He, he's going to be a guy that helps us all across the board. Yeah, I mean, obviously, everybody that is a potential hire uh, goes through a full and extensive background check. And that includes an NCAA check. And there was no issues from administration or from our compliance office. I think one thing that's very important to point out, uh, the associate AD at Southern Miss uh, was on staff in, in the athletic department at Troy when they hired him without issues. So that's very important uh, to look at. But there was no concerns uh, with any of that. Yeah, he, uh, it was in, in the preseason and uh, came down. Obviously, there was no conflicts with what he had going uh, with, with his uh, previous job. And uh, yeah, I just, I was, I was so impressed with the different things and all the questions that we answered on how to defend certain actions uh, on how he answered all those. So, um, you know, again, for me, he was a guy that I talked to right away uh, when the position opened up. And, uh, and he was the first guy uh, that, that I wanted to, um, you know, to, to bring here. And, and, and I'm very thankful. I'm, I'm really excited to bring Adam on board. Was it a, with the recruits when you did fly to visit them, was that a tough sell in any cases, or did you sense that they were on the same? Yeah, I, I really did feel that we were on the same page with it. You know, obviously, we've, we've kept in contact with, with the players and the families over the course of the year. And, you know, was able to see uh, Jamarcus play, was able to get down and see Blaze play. Um, you know, was able to certainly to keep in very close contact with Ramel. Uh, so, you know, it, 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 I, I do believe we stayed on the same page uh, this whole time. And I think it was important for the family and the kid to hear that we continued to have the same vision for them and, and what they could hopefully uh, accomplish in a Husker uniform and hopefully uh, what we can do to maybe help them achieve their goals. Can I anticipate filling that special assistant coach role? No, no, I, I, I will not fill that position. I, I think it's good because it's got length. And, you know, I think any time you're playing that defense on that end of the floor, you know, to be able to slow a team down, hopefully with, with the pressure, which, you know, we went to a little bit towards the end of the year with a little bit of three-quarter court, 1-3-1, one, one, dropped that back into some zone, switched uh, over the course of the possession to man. Uh, but I think any time you have positional size and length on that end of the floor, uh, it gives you an advantage uh, when you're switching up your defenses. I think we'll have a high IQ team as well uh, that will be able to handle some of that switching up. 
Uh, Wilhelm's doing great. He's uh, he's right on track with where he needs to be right now. He's put on uh, 15 pounds. Uh, really, all he's been able to do is get in the weight room, uh, which has been very beneficial for him. Uh, we're doing a lot of spot shooting with him right now, and you can even see, uh, even compared to when he came in, just how much more balanced he is as far as the strength uh, in both legs. So he's he's you know a guy that's very diligent in his rehab, and he's going to continue to stay on track. Uh, you know, hopefully get him back here in the next couple months. Yeah, you know, obviously rebounding was an area we really struggled in this year. And, you know, towards the end of the year, we did play, uh, you know, big, big at times. Uh, and, I, and I liked what I saw. We, you know, I've, I've generally played with four guys that can space it at any time. But, you know, he can be creative and run different short pick and roll type packages, get a guy down on the baseline, uh, you know, roll a guy into the pocket, which Derek is phenomenal uh, in that pocket, a, a very good passer. Uh, you know, for his size. So, you know, I think you can get away with running some actions on that end of the floor and then rebounding and physicality is going to help in a big way, uh, certainly when you have those, those two guys on the floor together. How much does it help just being able, I know you said Adam was your, was your maybe your first choice, how helpful is it just to be able to get that and have you say yes and just have, have that piece of the ability? Yeah, it, it's important. You know, the other thing with Adam is he's, he's not only connected uh, in the recruiting world, but you know, as far as coaching, I mean, everybody in our staff has a connection to Adam. Uh, you know, Nate Lenzer and Adam have been close for a long time. Uh, Armand Gates was a grad assistant when Adam was playing at Western Kentucky. So he's got relationships with everybody on our staff, which was another thing that I really wanted. Uh, you know, it was an important part of bringing in somebody that knew everything, you know, that we were all about. You know, we showed Adam some offensive concepts when he came uh, last year and presented on the defensive end. Uh, so I think everybody, you know, is, is very comfortable uh, with Adam and certainly what he can bring to our team.